Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for subscribing and being part of this weather community. All right, I want to get to this. This is not a normal situation. This is something we typically find in August. We're running about a month, a uh, month and a half ahead of schedule for the hurricane season, watching way out here for development. Now, this is going to develop most likely into a tropical storm, potentially a hurricane down the road. So I want to get into that. I want to get into the action steps and go island by island. All locations, all islands are matter. Doesn't matter if we're highly populated or not so much in spots. Uh, I'm going to zoom down into that. And uh, the best thing you could do is spread the word about this once I, I zoom down to certain locations just to get the correct information out. I want to get into the most likely track, all of the computer models, and I want to get a look at uh, Jamaica uh, back toward Belize. This blob over here as well, trying to move back toward Central America. So plenty to cover. Now, let me zoom out here. Here we are in Dominica, Barbados, Trinidad, and Tobago. Here's Puerto Rico. And watching this spot out here holding together, usually, as I mentioned, this is something we look at in August, September, those stronger tropical waves moving off. But those water temperatures, they are conducive for some development. Yeah, there's some dust around, but as I mentioned a couple days ago, it's not a whole lot, and it's mainly rotting to the north of this area. Then you get over here, and you see this flare-up of storms. If you were in Jamaica yesterday, and you got some storms, you got some big storms. We had some big-time thunderstorms in the afternoon yesterday. That's because of this tropical disturbance. This one, not really organized, but it did enhance some of the storms. I'll keep an eye out for some development, but all on track with this area as this presses back towards Central America, over toward parts of Mexico, and I'm going to zoom back down to that and get into the rain totals for that. Now, let's switch over to that impending system that is going to move toward the Caribbean. It's not going to impact everyone. Um, I know there's a lot of channels out there in uh, social media that tries to make it look like everyone's going to get hit by everything. That is not what this channel is about. I appreciate you subscribing, but you do not need to. I just want to spread the word about the right information. So as we work our way into Monday, that's really the time frame. Now, anywhere from about Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda down through Trinidad and Tobago, we need to be in monitor mode, watching out for a strengthening system that will become a tropical storm. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on the size of this, though. This could be more of a compact storm, a, a smaller storm. So with that, from Anguilla down toward Trinidad and Tobago, not all of us are going to be seeing this. We're just kind of cautiously watching it at this uh, point. But let me zoom here. This is where we need to take more of uh, action. And this is the most likely scenario. Uh, just giving you that uh, to uh, start uh, on what we're going to see. Now, it looks like we'll get a tropical storm developing over the next couple of days. And then it will push its way near St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, and close to Trinidad and Tobago. I'm not sure how close we're going to get should be just to the north. But as I mentioned, we need to see the size of this, right? A larger system could impact anywhere from Dominica all the way down through Trinidad. A smaller system would be maybe more St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, and Grenada. But point being, in this sector here, we need to start thinking about some initial preparations for a tropical storm. Not a hurricane, but, but most likely a tropical storm moving in, which we've dealt with, or at least most of us have dealt with. If you haven't, you can check with a, a friend or neighbor on these situations. Wind could be around 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. The rain where this comes in could be around 100 millimeters or four inches of rain, but upwards of 200 millimeters of rain, depending on uh, uh, which islands. Uh, we'll have to watch out for the mudslide threat and power loss possible. But this is the most likely path right through here. And I'm going to show you all of the computer models and I want to get into the winds. I want to show you the wind breakdown with this. Now, here's the spread of computer models. So here's Haiti, the Dominican Republic, my friends in Puerto Rico. And, and by the way, just while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to keep an eye on this as we, it works into the Caribbean. You may be over here saying, hey, well, what's going to happen next? So we'll talk about that in a second. But you see the computer models in very good agreement, bringing this very close to Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, whatever it is, most likely a tropical storm as we get into Monday. And that's why those spots, we need to make some of those initial preps Hey, what do we need to do, do to kind of uh, secure our area? Make sure we have some water on hand if possible. We all have different means 
uh, as far as uh, how we uh, get food and we get water and that sort of thing. Uh, and we have that chance of some power loss. Now this is kind of a crazier map. So this is going out in time. So you have 24 hours out in time, two days out in time, three, four days out in time. And these are the computer models I just showed you. Going out in time, you see how they all work their way into that green shading right there. This green shading, that's tropical storm force winds. And that's what I was mentioning. Rolling into Barbados, we have a higher likelihood of a tropical storm moving in on Monday. Now down the road as this makes its way into the Caribbean, it kind of gets split. Some of the models try to turn this into a hurricane, but others say, hey, there's going to be some dry air and some wind shear and it may actually eventually weaken. I don't know that. I'll let you know what I know and what I don't know. In the short term, I have very high confidence of a tropical storm coming at some of us like I just showed you. And then down the road, I'm not so sure because there's a lot of ingredients. And of course, then we're well out in time. We're four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days away and things can evolve, things can change. So here's the broader picture and then I want to zoom down. This is the American model and the models have been in actually very good agreement as a whole. Uh, here we are here, by the way, here's Jamaica watching out for this blob of some rain and storms, which I'll get to some of the rain up toward Bermuda. But here's that spot we're watching over here. This is by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon. Shouldn't be a name system uh, tomorrow at that point, but it's still holding its own even through some of the uh, drier air that it's dealing with. So this is our Friday afternoon and then we'll move into Saturday afternoon and you can see here starting to strengthen at that point. By Saturday, this could be a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Here's Barbados, here's uh, Trinidad and Tobago, and you see this getting closer, but not here yet this weekend. And then this area here moving toward the Yucatan with some heavier rain, and we'll work on those rain totals in a moment. Now, going out in time, let me stop the clock here. I'm gonna zoom down in a second and show you these winds and some of the rain. This would be later on Sunday. So it looks like more so a Monday event where we start to get this tropical storm. So you see here, we'll be making some of those preps and those will all be done in a few of our islands by the time we get into Sunday. And then the tropical storm starts to work in on Monday. Could be Sunday night through Monday, give or take 12 hours. This is still down the road. But there's that tropical storm moving in and that may be catching your attention. Some of the models are trying to develop a second area back behind it. So I don't lose sight of the, the whole Atlantic Basin. I'll be watching that too. Then down the road, by the time we get into Tuesday, this is where there's a lot of differences. Some of the models want to take this more to the west. West, say closer to Jamaica. Others kind of want to bring it up toward a Haiti or the Dominican Republic. As far as the strength is concerned, I'm not sure. And if anyone is sure at this point, uh, one, I don't believe them, but uh, let me know because that, that would be uh, crazy because uh, that's this is way down the road. There's so many variables in here at this point. There's going to be wind shear. Uh, there's some dust up here. So it's kind of a wait and see. But as far as the track goes, it may head a little closer to Jamaica. Deeper into next week, there is still a chance it kind of swings to the north. Most indications are more of a west-northwesterly path and then I'll be watching that other area out there. So here's the zoom down look, and then I wanna show you the European model and the winds. This is out in time. So this is Sunday afternoon, you see four o'clock. Here's Barbados, uh, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada. Uh, we get toward Trinidad and Venezuela. Now, get, getting into Sunday night, that's when conditions could deteriorate, getting into a tropical storm. Now, for the most part, many of us can handle a tropical storm. I, I always watch to see if this does try to become a hurricane at this point. In this location, I'm not seeing that, but there is still a slight chance. Uh, the, uh, the American model really does try to ramp this up pretty quickly. Here's Barbados. So in the morning, uh, on Monday morning, we could have a tropical storm rolling in. Here's St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, right on the edge of Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, and on the edge of uh, Dominica in Martinique. This would be later on Monday. And then eventually, this system would be progressing off through the Caribbean. Now here's the European model. So you see here, here we are, right? right in here. Here's Trinidad. So right in here, here's this area that we're watching. There's the coast of Africa. So this is that area that's going to move away. Now here's the setup. Uh, a strong area of high pressure to the north, and that's new from last year. Last year, it was much weaker. Things are kind of zipping up to the uh, north. We had some issues up toward the Atlantic region of Canada with systems moving in, but this area is pretty dominant up here. This is going to continue to move its way to the west. This is on Friday, so here we are. You can see right here, this is the area getting better organized, and there is a front up here. There's a couple fronts moving by. Last season, last year, these fronts were grabbing things and lifting them up to the north. 
but what's what I always look at the pattern. What's happening is these fronts kind of move in and move out quickly and high pressure builds in quickly behind it. So this here is Saturday. There's that area of high pressure and you can see that front is pretty much gone. So this is still going to make its way off toward the west northwest. Here's Barbados right here. So this is on Saturday and, and you can see just like the American model, very good agreement making this a tropical depression or a tropical storm as we get into the weekend. And then as we work our way into Sunday, that's when it gets closer. Not here yet on Sunday, uh, just getting closer. At this point, it should be a tropical storm on Sunday. And then as we work around to Sunday night and Monday in particular, that's when this would start to move in. So let me move the clock forward and we work our way into Monday. And you see, just like the American model, very similar scenario rolling in near St. Lucia, St. Vincent the Grenadines, Grenada on the edge of Trinidad, on the edge of uh, Dominica and Barbados will have that tropical storm that will work in. And then after that, it is truly a wait and see on what happens uh, there. So the Euro European model, as this moves in near Barbados, has this as a tropical storm. The American model has it a tropical storm but a strong one. And as I mentioned a minute or two ago, I'm not seeing it become a hurricane at this point, but it's not out of the question. The Canadian model does have it as a hurricane in the Eastern Caribbean, and the Icon German model has it as a tropical storm. But when you look at this, this gives me high confidence that a name system is going to be moving in. Barrel is the next name on the list. It is the B name after Alberto, so tropical storm barrel. Now, as promised, the winds here going out in time. Let me just tick that uh, clock forward and then stop it here. This is as we get into Sunday afternoon. You can see here's Dominica, here's Barbados, and right there, the, the white shading there, those would be winds of 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. The red, 110 kilometers an hour or 70 miles per hour. This is the American model, and you can see 74 miles per hour is a hurricane, so getting close to hurricane strength, and then trying to work in by Monday, that's when we would have the tropical storm winds, 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles per hour or higher, and those are sustained winds, so that's a constant wind, not just a gust. Us, and that would mean we'd have some of those uh, power outages. And then this would work close to St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines on Monday through the day on Monday, Trinidad and Dominica. Those are kind of my markers right now for how close it gets. So anywhere from uh, Dominica down through Trinidad, we're taking some of those initial tropical storm preps just to be safe, but then I'll fine tune it further. And then here's Puerto Rico. Most indications are whatever this is at that point would stay to the south, but I don't lose sight at all to see if anything would try to swing it back into this direction. Right now, this should be just south of uh, Puerto Rico on Tuesday, and it, it'll be a wait and see on that. I'll be watching that. If we need to make any preps, which we do not at this point, up in this area, I will let you know ASAP. That's why I do this channel. Haiti, the DR, Puerto Rico, uh, Virgin Islands, uh, watching things. Now, this is a crazy map. Here's that wind shear. This is on a Saturday. There's a lot of wind shear in the Atlantic. Here's the system. Here's Barbados. Here's Trinidad. In this this is what I was mentioning. There's some dry air in here in some wind shear, but this is generally to the north. This system is so far to the south, it's able to strengthen or will be able to strengthen because it's able to avoid some of the wind shear. I want to show you those higher seas and get into the rain totals in a moment, but let me swing back here into the uh, Caribbean. Now here's this blob that brought some damage and some bigger storms to Jamaica. This was that fast-moving tropical disturbance that moved through. There's still a slight chance this could develop, especially over toward the Bay of Campeche. Jamaica, Cayman Islands, not a guarantee we get rain today, but if we get rain, like yesterday, it's going to be enhanced. We'll see a better chance of storms, and then you see this working its way toward the Yucatan of Mexico. Here's Belize, Honduras for tomorrow. Nicaragua, the higher chance of rain. Guatemala and El Salvador, we're going to have some rain. Costa Rica, we had some rain yesterday, so all of this rain, uh, kind of a, a, an uptick in the rain here. And as we work our way into Saturday, there's also going to be some rain moving into the Southeast or Caribbean. That's not with the system. There's another little disturbance out ahead of it. So you see that there. This is Saturday. And then working our way into Sunday, this may try to spin up some in the uh, Bay of Campeche. But this, we have this rain here. There's the system we're watching that will be working in for Monday. Now here are the, uh, the wave heights. Always thinking of our boaters, any water interest out there, any sailors. 
obviously elevate it around the central and western Caribbean with this disturbance. This takes us out into Friday, things flaring up, uh, seeing if the system does get better organized. But either way, a big wave and wind maker right in here, about upwards of about four to five meters. So we're looking at about 13 plus feet as far as those seas are concerned, especially as the system works into the Bay of Campeche and western Gulf on Saturday. So this is Saturday, and you see those uh, higher wave heights. And then this catching your attention, we still have that on Sunday. This is Sunday. Watching this area here, that's uh, coming in, and that would give us some uh, seas easily over six meters or upwards of about 20 plus feet in some locations if this can really wrap up and get better organized into that strong tropical storm. So giving you the early heads up on that. Now in the short term, flooding possible. We're gonna see upwards of 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain in parts of uh, Mexico, near Mexico City. We had some intense flooding in some areas yesterday. Guatemala, El, El Salvador, back toward Belize. Uh, anywhere in here, we're gonna see that chance of flooding. Let me know in the comments uh, what you're getting. Now Jamaica, as I mentioned, not all of us are gonna get the rain, but if we do get some rain, 75 millimeters or three inches of rain. It could be a stronger storm. Same thing through the Cayman Islands. Rain is not guaranteed, but a couple of the storms could really pop as we swing through the day. But here's a sample Belize as we work our way back toward Honduras with some of those higher totals the next few days. We are going to see some flooding. So watching Belize, the Yucatan of Mexico, Honduras, and other parts in Central America, we're going to see that flood potential with the tropical disturbance moving in. And then interior Mexico, that's where we're going to see some of the highest totals and once again, like yesterday, we're going to have some of the uh, impressive uh, flooding, and I say impressive in the bad sense of the term. On the north side of all of this, the Atlantic region of Canada, I mentioned where a lot of the systems were trying to find us last hurricane season. Well, we have fronts moving by. We'll see that chance of showers. Here's our Friday, Friday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, Newfoundland, some of that rain leaving, but another system moving in. These are the fast moving fronts, and we'll see those scattered showers and storms as we work our way into Saturday, into Sunday, starting to move in. So Jamaica, 40 to 50 percent chance of rain and storms, 40 to 50 percent chance in the Cayman Islands, and we're looking at about a 40 percent chance in Trinidad and Tobago. But on Saturday, that first kind of little disturbance moves in. So before the main action gets closer, there is going to be that uptick in rain. You see it here in Barbados, 60% chance on Saturday, and we'll see the uptick in rain as well on Saturday in St. Lucia. That's a little area of rain, not expecting development out of that. Rain chance on Saturday up to 50% in uh, Grenada. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a 60% chance on Saturday. A couple passing showers possible today in Martinique. Rain chance not too high. 30% chance in Dominica. 40 to 50% chance Friday in into a Saturday as we swing back toward Guadeloupe. Rain chance stays kind of low Antigua and Barbuda. We're in monitor mode. I'm not seeing this swinging up toward Antigua and Barbuda at this point, uh, e either for uh, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, but we're still in monitor mode just to see if anything does change. Slight chance of a shower popping up. 20% chance as we work our way toward Anguilla and St. Bart's the next three days. Very limited St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. Rain chance 30% in Puerto Rico. Some isolated thunderstorms and hot heat advisories are out. Heat advisories are out for the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. 30 to 40 percent chance of some of the rain in uh, the Bahamas. Uh, rain chance very minimal, Turks and Caicos. Rain chance 30 to 40 percent scattered storms in the DR. Back through Haiti, we're looking at an isolated 30 percent chance. The DR Haiti, Puerto Rico, I'll monitor this larger system in the Atlantic. If it comes our way, I'll give us plenty of time, plenty of notice. Belize, there's that higher chance of rain. Watching out for the flooding. Rain chance only 20% in Aruba. Once again, a lot of this missing us. Curacao, same thing. 70% chance of rain in Guyana, where we did have some flooding. We did have some flooding in Suriname too, so watching out for a few more spots of that. Scattered storms across Cuba. Rain chance 50%. 70% chance elevated Costa Rica and Panama. 50% chance, maybe a little higher in Nicaragua, where we get we're going to watch out for some flooding. 60% chance tomorrow in Honduras. Some higher rain totals. Let me know uh, location and what you're getting. Guatemala and El Salvador right through the weekend. Watching out for the flooding. Mexico City, we had some flooding nearby yesterday. Watching out for more of that. The potential of that today. Yucatan, that rain chance is going to get a lot higher with the tropical disturbance moving in. Colombia, 30 to 40% chance. 30% chance in northern Venezuela with some of the uh, dust around. And the rain chance on the higher side with Bermuda with some of those systems moving moving in. So with that said, tropical storm is forming in the Atlantic. Highly unusual for this time of year. We're staying on alert. Uh, thank you for spreading these, this uh, information just to get the word out about this. Now, 
were on alert all across the Eastern Caribbean, but then I kind of focused on some of those action uh, locations where we do need to uh, maybe think about uh, ramping things up a little bit for the potential of that tropical storm on Monday. I'll continue to track things island by island, and then I'll watch what happens with this system as it rolls through the Caribbean. So thank you for being part of this weather community. I'll be watching this throughout the day. I'll try to do the worrying. You don't do the worrying. I'll give you everything I'm seeing. Uh, I'll try to get through the comments as we go through the day. I hope you're doing well and have a good day ahead.